like to have Daryl come up, and as Daryl comes up this way, I'd like to also mention, I just spoke with Don's brother, who happens to be named Daryl. That's right. And his comment was, he's extremely touched by the turnout today and the support the Sheboygan musicians are showing to his brother. And uh, I'm proud of everybody here, and I know he's touched. And thank you, Don, for for Daryl, for coming out. Um, I think every musician in this room at some point or another has had the opportunity to sit down with this man and talk about music and he's led us all and given us amazing opportunities and I know that Don was a very close personal friend of yours and Daryl, uh, would you like to share some thoughts with us? Testing, okay. <clears throat> I don't know how far we could get with this. Abacuses, you know, papyrus reeds, you know. Sorry. What I saw down in the short. Don Grinder and his date of death. It's just wrong. I'd like to start off by saying thanks to Ed for doing all his hard work and everybody that backed him up. <clears throat> and uh, I wrote out some words here, I can't even read them. Uh. <clears throat> okay, have you ever gone through life and tried to speak and you got a, a knot in your neck? The, the size of a watermelon. That's how I feel right now. Don was more than a musician that I worked with. He was like a brother. I probably played about 500 jobs with Don over the 25, 30 years. The grinder always made me happy. I walked on stage and I always felt 10 feet tall next to Don. 20 feet tall, maybe. Uh, I'm sorry, I can't read. I'm not one to have prepared remarks. I just like to wing it. And I'm, I'm usually a rough bastard, but... Uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, I know that uh, Don's up in heaven right now, and he's, he's jamming with Ricky Nelson, Buddy Holly. Yeah. I know that for sure. They got a band already. You can always tell somebody how they go through life if they love animals. And Don had a deep love for his dog, Queenie, and uh, Hannah, his cat. And, uh, oh, Jesus. If, if you think of Don, how many in this room can honestly say that they heard Don say one bad thing about anybody. I'm so uh, Don was a master musician, as you know, and I remember a lot of times he used to play these high school dances, and these young guitar players would come up. You could just see them out there. They were just awe-stricken, and they'd come up to Don and try to speak, and I remember one young kid, he goes up to Don and goes, but guitar, Don knew what he was saying. <laughs> Don, was a, Don was really a gentle giant with a, with a very warm heart. I, know, I saw a lot of people, when Don would come up to him for the first time, they'd get all freaked out, and he got to know him, and he's one of the most wonderful people in the world that I've ever met. Uh, Jesus, I'm just, I can't put all this together. I'm, I just want you to know that uh, me and Joel Grom came up to me. He used to be the bass player with Boogeyman. He stares at me, and I stare at him. We haven't seen each other for years. We can't speak to each other, but we, the message came through. I, uh, 
I'm, I'm going to let you go. Thank you for your time. And yeah. Thank you, Daryl. All right, let's hear a little bit from Lorenzo Menzerschmidt. so much. Well, all right. That's a Bob Dylan song, of course. Our Bobby up there from Duluth, Minnesota, you know. Anyway, what a, what a, what a thrill it is to be here playing for you all this afternoon. And in honor of our late friend Don, man, his presence will sure, surely be missed around here. 
really happy to be up here with my good friend Tony Menzer on the bass and Victor DiLorenzo on the drums back there, beating them skins. We got a new CD out. We got them over there on the table on the side if you want to take a look. And a uh, little tune from that by a fellow named Blind Blake called the Police Dog Blues. All my life I've been a traveling man All my life I've been a traveling man Just living alone and doing the best I can Well I shipped my trunk way down to Tennessee I shipped my trunk way down to Tennessee yeah, it's hard to tell about a man like me I met a gal I couldn't get her off my mind yeah, I met a girl I couldn't get her off my mind But she passed me up, said she didn't like my kind I'm afraid to bother around her house at night Well, I'm afraid to bother around her house at night She's got a police dog and he's craving for a bite He's craving now Rambling when he gets a chance. Well, his name is Rambling when he gets a chance. He leaves his mark on everybody's pants. Well, I guess I'll travel, I guess I'll let her be. Well, I guess I'll travel now, I guess I'll let her be. Before she sicks that police dog on me Well, all my life I've been a traveling man all my life I've been a traveling man We did living alone and doing the best I can Yes, I'm living alone and doing the best I can That's how they used to play that blues back in the 20s there down in Atlanta, Georgia and Chicago. I'm going to switch guitars. I'm going to get out a cigar box guitar. Only the finest instruments for these occasions, don't you know? going to do a song of ours here. Uh, I wrote this a while back, but it just, uh, it just uh, it doesn't seem to go out of style, this one here. It's called It Don't Work That Way. Of the world would be so much better 
If everyone was just like us But it don't work that way It don't work that way You can preach and you can pray But it don't work that way It's hard to believe what you hear anymore They talk about peace Yet they keep on making war It don't work that way It don't work that way It won't just go away Cause it don't work that way trouble headlines day and night just keep on spending money and everything gonna be all right but it don't work that way it don't work that way it won't just go away because it don't work that way Thank you. Thanks. Now here's a song that I know Raw Don played probably hundreds of times in his life. Because you can't be a rock and roll guitar player and not play Johnny Be Good by Chuck Berry. It's a requirement that you play it at least a hundred times before you turn the age of 30. And we're going to play Johnny Be Good, but we don't play it like Chuck played it. And I don't think Don ever played it this way either, and I'm, I'm sorry that he's not here to join us on this one. Here's our take on Johnny Be Good. Close to New Orleans Way back up in the woods Among the evergreens Sits a log cabin Made of earth and wood There lived a country boy Named Johnny B. Good He never ever learned To read or write so well But he could play a guitar Did like a ringing bell well, Go, go Go, Johnny Go, go, go Johnny be good He used to carry his guitar in a gunny sack Sit beneath the trees by the railroad track Engineers would see him just sitting in the shade Just to picking out the rhythm that the drivers made Well, people passing by, they would stop and say My, my, that little country boy can play well, go, 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 Johnny, go, go, go
Johnny Go 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 Johnny be good Now his daddy told him one day he would be a man And he would be the leader of a big old band Well people will be coming from miles around just to hear you play a guitar when the sun goes down and maybe someday your name might be in lights saying Johnny be good tonight yeah right go 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 Johnny go 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 Johnny be good You hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack, but Johnny be good. You load 16 tons, and what do you get? You get another day older. Johnny be good. Johnny be good Oh Johnny be good Oh Johnny be Thank you, thank you, thank you. Sort of takes Johnny down into the swamp there, don't it, for a little while. Put him on a riverboat. We're going to play a little rock and roll number here, kind of just straight on. Rock and roll. This is about a highway in Wisconsin here. Cuts across the northern third of the state from Green Bay all the way on over to Eau Claire or so. Highway 29. I've been up and down it so many times. I believe I know every crack and crevasse in the old pavement there. but uh, So I had to write a song about it, just because that's what I do. This one's called 29's a Good Road. Good road, well worth going down. Twenty nine's a good road, well worth going down. All the way from Eau Claire on into Tidal Town. Yes, it feels so good to get off I 94. Yes, it feels so good to get off I 94. Put a disc in the player, put the cruise on 74, or maybe even 75 if you're feeling like... Stanley, there's a big old prison there. Yeah, when you drive by Stanley, there's a big blue prison there. Razor wire on the fence tops, incarceration in the air. Check out Rip Mountain when you go past Wausau Town. Check out Rip Mountain when you go past Wausau Town. Yeah, 
where the place gets the jumping when the snow is falling down. Here come down. Bonduel, you all heard of Bonduel. Yes, I'm down on the east end, rolling past Bonduel. Or maybe it was Shawnee. Sometimes it's hard to tell. 29's a good road, well worth going down. 29, Highway 29. 29's a good road, well worth going down. 29, Highway 29. All the way from Eau Claire on into Titletown. One more time, boys. 29's a good road. 29's a good road. 29's a good road. 29's a good road, but 29's a good road, a way worth going down. You know, uh, <clears throat> we recorded that song, and about a week later, I was watching the news, and there was, during the midst of all the heat waves this summer, and the massive massive uh, heat up north highway 29 actually buckled and there was a car on it and there was a video of this car flipping in the air and we take no responsibility is the point of this here I mean. well we're on the subject of rock and roll we're going to play a carl perkins song him being the really one of the greatest of all the rockabilly artists ever, and he, he, he put out a little song back in 57 that just kind of shook up the whole, uh, the whole world eventually. A little number you might have heard called the Blue Suede Shoes. Well, we're, we're not really a rockabilly band, so we're kind of a, kind of a blues sort of outfit thing, and so we're gonna do it, do it kind of blues outfit thing style here for you. It's a one for the money, two for the show, three to get ready, yeah, now go, cat, go. Hey, you can do anything, yeah, that you want to do. But just one thing, honey, watch out for my shoes and don't you. Don't you step on my blue suede shoes Well, you can do anything but lay off my blue suede shoes uh -huh. Uh -huh. Well, you can knock me down You can step on my face you can slander my name Hell all over this place Yeah You can do anything Yeah, that you want to do But just the one thing, honey Watch out for them shoes Don't you Don't you dab on my blue suede shoes Lay off my blue suede shoes Oh, watch out them shoes, honey
burn my house Yeah, you can wreck my car You can drink all my liquor Yeah, from an old fruit jar Well, you can do anything Yeah, that you want to do But just one thing, honey Just watch the damn shoes Don't you Don't you step on my blue suede shoes Well, you can do anything But lay off my blue suede shoes Suede shoes, baby. My blue suede shoes. My blue suede shoes, baby. My blue suede shoes. For satisfaction No, I can't get no For no reaction Thank you. We do like our long endings, don't we? <laughs> Five minutes, all right. We, we're getting the high sign here. We want to thank everybody. Particularly, we want to thank Ed Stalter for uh, having us here and putting this on. What a fabulous party. It's, it's, and what a great reason that we're all here. That's right. Ed Stalter, the Ed Sullivan of Sheboygan. That's right. And twice as pretty, too. Uh, We got two more songs for you. We're gonna get get the get the heck out of here and get on with the show. This this one is a is older than dirt. This one's called Payday. Take it back to mama, payday, payday, payday. 
I'm gonna take you back to your mama payday Well, there's a rabbit in a log I ain't got no rabbit dog Lord, I hate to see that rabbit get away Get away, get away Lord, I hate to see that rabbit get away About a week ago, I stole me a hand of me. I'm gonna keep my skillet greasy if I can. If I can, oh, if I can, I'm gonna keep my skillet greasy if I can. Well, I've done all I can do, and I can't get along with you. I'm gonna take you back to your mama payday Payday, payday I'm gonna take you back to your mama payday Payday, payday I'm gonna take you back to your mama payday Thank you. We got one more quick one for you here. We'll try to keep it quick. We almost didn't play this song until Tony reminded me we have to play this song in Don's honor. This is a song that uh, if you ever make it to Madison at 420, they're playing this song every 420 now on Triple M, so you'll dig it. <laughs> We want, you to, we want you to help you with this, or help us with this, too. When you'll know what part is yours, so just help us sing along. We know there's a jillion singers here in the house, so. I don't mind 
A little running around, what was that? Running around, knocking them back, knocking them back, back, and painting the town. Painting the town. Yeah, but don't call me. Don't call me. No, don't you rattle my cage. Don't rattle my cage. Unless you want. Unless you want. To check the gauge. Well, now, check the gauge. Just a puff or two. Check the gauge. It's good for you. To check the gauge. Every now and then. Check the gauge, just a little pub. Check the gauge, it's real good stuff. You gotta check the gauge for it's time to check it again. I'm losing pressure, boy. Check the gauge, just a little puff. Check the gauge, it's real good stuff. Check the gauge every now and then. Well, check the gauge, just a puff or two. Check the gauge, it's good for you. Check the gauge, for it's time to check it again. Yeah, you gotta check the gauge, for it's time to check it again. Yeah, you gotta check the gauge, for it's time to check it again. You had to do that one for Don, right? Thank you. Thank you.